Join us as we go to Blue Anchor for our first ever rally with the Motor Caravanners Club. We're situated in the West Country, so we are part of the West Country group. We thought we'd join another camping club so that we could take advantage of cheaper camping by joining their rallies. Here we are arriving at the campsite. We're going to be staying at the home farm for this rally. The Smugglers Inn is on the left hand side. We've been here before. We drove past the home farm reception and followed the signs to the Motor Caravanners Club rally field. Upon arrival, we were warmly welcomed by the hosts, Ian and Angela, Jim and Jen. As you can see, there were lots of us at the rally. There was plenty of space between our units and we didn't feel cramped at all. The campsite offered some stunning views of the surrounding Somerset countryside. The campsite is situated in Chapel Cleeve, which you can see here. The Queen and her sister Margaret parted here in the 1960s. We are at a rally, so we are flying our flags. We didn't have electric hookup this weekend, but there were toilet facilities provided. We were fortunate enough to see the trains running on the West Somerset Railway. It's a 20 mile piece of track that runs between Minehead and Bishop's Lydiard. On the way in, we passed the Blue Anchor Railway Station. And there goes the end of the train. We have ridden on this train line before and we'd like to do it again. The campsite is situated a stone's throw away from Blue Anchor Bay. Blue Anchor Beach is a long sandy beach sprinkled with alabaster rocks which are great for finding fossils. We love to find fossils. We took this opportunity to look for some fossils but we didn't find any unfortunately. The beach is dog friendly and parking is free 24 hours a day. We stopped for an ice cream. It was delicious. We had beautiful weather this weekend, so we took a stroll down to the water's edge to cool off. Hey Kaz, watch out for that wave behind you. It's got you. That water was quite cold. After spending some time on the beach, we sat on the promenade and just watched life go by. Then it was time for us to head back to the campsite as there was evening entertainment. There were various games and entertainment. There was a music quiz, but we didn't do very well at it. Higher or lower? Higher! It didn't matter whether you went higher or lower, I think the cards were stacked against us. The lovely Ken also kept us entertained with some singing. As we paired up in teams, this was a lovely opportunity to meet other members of the group. There were even amazing prizes. Pub meal for two a packet of crisps and a can of beer. Of course, you didn't have to join in the entertainment if you didn't want to. You could sit quietly by your van and just take in the evening's air and unwind. We were in the Riverside field with the Motor Caravanners Club. There's also a seafront field and there it is. Here you can see the rather larger caravan site, the Holborn Blue Anchor Holiday Park, which has a cafe right on the beachfront that is open to the public. This rally cost us £11 per night. This didn't include electric, however, we were quite happy to be self-sufficient. Joining other caravanning and camping clubs is a good way to camp for less. Also, a good way of making new friends. The Motor Caravanners Club has over 500 social gatherings a year and they're split into about 22 groups around the UK. As I said at the beginning of the video, we are part of the West Country group because of where our home location is. Why not have a look at this club online? And if you like the look of it, why not join? You also get a free monthly magazine to keep you up to date, a yearbook and discounts available with many retailers. If you enjoyed this video, why not take a look at one of our other videos?